Let's balance the equation for BiNO33 in H2S. We'll also look at the type of reaction. Let's start with the type of reaction. So when we look at this, it looks like the bismuth and the hydrogen, they're changing places. Now the bismuth starts with the nitrate, but now we have the sulfur there. So we have bismuth sulfide here. The hydrogen and the nitrate, now they're together over here. So this is a double displacement reaction. That's the type of reaction. Let's balance the equation. We have one bismuth, two hydrogens. We'll use a bit of a trick here. We have this nitrate ion here and we have it over here. So since we have it on both sides, we're just going to count it as one thing. So we have one nitrate times three, we have three of those, one sulfur. Product side, two of the bismuth, hydrogen, just one, only one nitrate there, and three sulfur atoms. So it's a lot neater. You get the same answer either way. This is just a lot quicker. Why don't we start by balancing the bismuth? We have two here and one here. If we put a two here, one times two, that'll give us two of those. And then we have three nitrates times two. Three times two, six there. Why don't we try to balance the nitrates here? See how that works out. We have six and just one, so we'll put a six here. One nitrate times six, six of those, one hydrogen times six. That gives us six hydrogens. But if we put a three here, two times three, that gives us six, and then one times three, that gives us three. We're done. This equation is balanced. So you can see how counting that nitrate is just one thing. It makes it a lot easier. If we were to look at the states here, nitrates are very soluble. So let's put aqueous, and I think this H2S would be aqueous as well. Bithmus sulfide, that's insoluble. So that's going to be a solid. That would be a precipitate fall to the bottom of our test tube. And then HNO3, nitric acid, that's a strong acid. So that would be soluble. So those are the states. Again, type of reaction for bithmus nitrate plus this H2S, hydrogen sulfide, you could call it double displacement. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.